Oh, soon it's going to be uh, pretty tricky to get around Minneapolis. Yeah, so light rail is shutting down downtown stops for 11 days, and major houses are in store for those commuting by cars, too. The Lowry Tunnel eastbound will be closed through noon on Sunday. The 35W ramp to westbound I-94 will close very early on Saturday morning. That's just a few of the projects. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is at uh, the light rail stop at Target Field right now, so things are going to look a little different soon, Susan Elizabeth. Exactly, Amelia. You know, there's a bustle of people out here today, roaring trains, but soon there will be a stillness to this platform. Now, this station is going to be shut down as well as the other downtown stops that will happen on Thursday. It will go through July 3rd and the timing. Well, it's not exactly ideal. In just a few days, 300,000 people will come downtown to show their pride. About 30,000 will come to Uptown for a food truck fest. And 40,000 will be on hand for the USA Volleyball Junior Championships. It's also the weekend. Traffic and the light rail will come to a stop. We have been asked, well, why this weekend? Um, we are up, up against considerable pressure, um, pressure that people are quite familiar with. MnDOT says the Minnesota climate leaves little room for flexibility. Metro Transit says it's the lesser of evils. If you look at our event schedule throughout the rest of the year, this was the, the least impactful 11-day stretch. And so they'll begin. Workers will expose tracks, making them easier to access for future repairs. If we weren't performing this construction you know, project at this time, reliability in the near future would be compromised. So this is important to get this done this year. Not exactly music to the director of Pride's ears. When I first heard about it, I, I you know, several months ago, I tried to make people move things around. <laughs> but it has to happen. You know, it, it's uh, like they explained, it's just a super short window of time um, to get all the work done. But she believes people will find the way to pride. Speaking of work, light rail commuters like Zavo Dadan will have to find their way too. I'm going to get to work as fast as I used to do. But Mendot insists, albeit slow and steady, we'll all get where we're going. Now, Nice Ride is jumping in to try to help this debacle of sorts. They're going to be renting bikes for $1 each. Also, buses will be running from platform to platform. That should take you about five to 10 extra minutes more than the light rail would. Now, if you still have questions, we've got links on WCCO.com slash links. And you can also call 511 if you're trying to figure out the traffic this weekend. What a headache, Susan Elizabeth. All right, thank you.